<laughs> That's the road. It's fine. It's fine. We're all fine. Mm. Everything's fine. <laughs> Your destination is on the right. Oh. Yeah, we're at destination. <laughs> oh, jeez. Pumpkin spice snickerdoodle. Nom nom nom. and there's seeds in the flowers and in the pumpkin so your little utopia would grow into like a life-size flower and pumpkin patch. They're dried flowers but inside but of the flowers them. there's seeds. Oh, yeah because they're they're mature flowers and inside of the pumpkins you know the pumpkins are cured so they are you know intact if they had been scooped then they would rot but because you know people store pumpkins in root cellars 
for years even, yeah. but uh, in the right temperature. But at, at room temperature in your home, these will last at least six months. Um, but if you wanted to yeah. later, you could put them outside. You could bury the whole thing or you could take the time and take all the seeds apart, but they're super fun. I was running low on my rate scales. Yes, they're really cute. easy to make surprisingly. <laughs> they're so cute. 
You have to give it a name to make it match. Yeah. I'll name him Ray. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Let's see what it does. But I would not just carry that one. This comes off, but. Not only is he got a witch's hat, but his shelf is all right. Oh my gosh. Each one of those has to be cut, heated, flat, punched, and then riveted together. I tell people if they want to get into it, don't start with that. Don't. Start with something small. Something that you can do and you can say, I did that. And it, because it really makes a big difference. I carry this in my pocket every single day. Says this is the most 
Huzzah, Huzzah, Lord and Lady Nerdlings! Hopefully you enjoyed the look at what is the last Dragon Fest ever. What? Yeah, uh, it's kind of an end of an era because they're changing their name. Oh, you got me scared for a minute. <laughs> so beginning in 2023, this will no longer be Dragon Fest, but rather Dragon's Brook Renaissance Fair. Now, their mission has always been to benefit the Infinity Academy. It's a local nonprofit special needs school, and that is not going to change even though their name is changing. Still, it, it really is kind of weird to think that it's not going to be Dragon Fest anymore I know. because we've been going for so long now we've watched it grow so much i might too. confess to probably i'll always call it dragon fest <laughs> at least for a while <laughs> this, this old timers yeah. yeah yeah now in their new location when we went this year i mean there was just this great long line to yes. get into the fair itself and it's one of those it's like okay yeah yeah the impatient part of me is like come on i, I just want to get in there and and make merriment in the revelries but at the same time looking at all the people that were there in line it's like this is pretty awesome yeah, i pretty mean it's, cool. it's it's really cool it's really cool to grow so anyway yeah you guys got to see it now we're going to take a look at some of the pickups uh first of all a lady needs to be adorned with her jewelry and of course you picked nothing but the finest earwear i did got to represent the video game side of me so i got some pac-man because uh we enjoy our retro gaming as well as our modern gaming also pac-man was a theme at the wedding and i didn't actually surprisingly i did not have any pac-man earrings that is kind of weird it is weird i, I would have thought yeah. that you would have grabbed something so like that now i do waka waka <laughs> And also, one of my favorite beverages is Fanta. Don't you wanna wanna? Don't you wanna Fanta? And orange Fanta is my favorite. So, I had to get me some orange Fanta earrings. Nice, nice. It's like they brought those earrings just they for did. you. They did, yeah. They were ready for you. Well, something that we picked up, kind of a together gift, was a new treasure chest to put all of our Ren Fair coins in. Now, we don't get to find the coins as frequently as we used to, as much as we would like to, but the chest that they were in was starting to overflow. It was a bit. So it was time so. to upgrade. So this is going to be great. This is a beautiful wooden piece. It is. Too. And we love getting chests like these at fairs and whatnot that are made the old school way. So there's no nails. There's no nothing. It's all tongue and groove and pins. No glue. It's just the way they've made it and old school style sticking together. So love it. Well, this is not the only awesome piece that we picked up. From Corvus Moon, you found probably one of the most unique items I ever. did. Apparently, I seem to be having a, like, water cantina type theme going on the last couple of Ren Fairs. So, this time was no different. I got a beautiful pottery turtle watering cantina. As you so elegantly put it, you have to make out with the turtle yeah, to drink. That's, that's kind of weird but, to you me. Know, I mean, I guess it's better than drinking from the other end. It does lend itself well to looking kind of like a like water bladder, if you will. But the detail on it is what I loved. I mean, you've got the detail of the ridge that normal turtles have. But when you flip it over, his little feetsies are there. But what I love the best was his little tails right there. That was so cute. So yeah, love it. The stuff that we see by Corvus Moon is always so cool. They make their uh, cups every year. The Dragon Fest official mug that you can get that comes with some free refills. They're the ones who make that every year. And that's how we actually got introduced to this pottery. Yeah, uh, so. the Dragon Fest mug that I have from a few years back. I use that all the time. I love that. Literally every like morning for your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> this drink, I like it. I know, it's great, right? Another! <laughs> The last thing that we picked up, actually, you've been on such a kick with these 3D printed yeah, creatures. I'm, I'm obsessed with 3D printed animals. I don't know why. I don't know what. Maybe it fascinates me how they can 3D print literally the links together so they move. But I got two little snakes. I just really liked them. They were, they're not very big, but they just feel really cool, like, like sliding through your fingers. And they weren't very expensive, and I couldn't decide between the two colors. So my lord here did what every lady wants to hear. And what would that be, sir? I told you to get them both. Yeah. Why don't you just buy both? And I was like, okay. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? They got little eyes and nose, and then, you know, they're little bice. 
Well, these work well. The uh, the color schemes that you picked out, too, mm -hmm. are really, really great. Very nice, vibrant colors. Some of your favorite colors, yep. no less. Orange and blue and purple and green. And, yeah, the uh, interlocking pieces, I mean, as far as snakes go, it's perfect. And the nice thing is, once we get the coins in here, we can just put the snakes right there on top. So they can protect the coins from being stolen. Oh, sorry, guy. There you go. <laughs> Well, mm -hmm. nerdlings, there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing the last year of Dragon Fest, and we look forward to seeing the new year of Dragon's Brook Renaissance yes. Fair. It's going to be amazing. We already can't yes, wait. cannot wait. And hopefully you will join us then, see what we pick up, see what changes come from this ever-growing Renaissance Festival. Leave those comments down below. What did you think? Uh, anybody a big fan of the 3D printed creatures and critters? Do you like the fun novelty earrings? Do you have a chest for your own booty? Or do you just like making out with your ceramic turtles as you drink <laughs> your grog? You know what this means? I need to get a new shirt. And That's a new true. mug next That's year. That's true. Yeah, we're <laughs> going to have to completely up our merch game. We are. For mm -hmm. Dragon's Brook. So, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And if we like it... We nerd it. And we just need to find some more coins. So we have to upgrade the chest to the next size. That'll make it bigger. Bigger. So big. That's big. And then Scrooge McDuck into it. Yeah. Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. <laughs> now, their mission has always been to benefit the infinite... <clears throat> I can't believe I messed it up. And the turtle does seem to lend its shape... Self? Well, too. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm looking for. Self. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Get it. Oh, we didn't buy dragon coins at Dragon Fest.